Supermodel Kate Moss's sister credits OnlyFans for getting confidence back. Lottie Moss praises the adult subscription site for giving her so much freedom. Lottie Moss, the half-sister of supermodel Kate Moss, is proud of her work with OnlyFans. Moss, 26, first joined the adult subscription site in 2022. While she is focusing more of her time on acting with a new role in April X, Lottie only has fond memories working in front of the camera for her fans. When I first started doing it, I loved it, and it was something that had given me so much freedom and made me so confident, she exclusively told SSN24 News Digital. And, I just feel like I could really embrace my femininity when I was doing it and just be proud of who I was. Moss added, I think I lost a lot of confidence in myself when I was doing modeling, because you're consistently comparing yourself to other people and other girls, and, you know, if you're tall enough, skinny enough, or whatever. But with OnlyFans, you don't have to be any of that. You just are you, and people love you for who you are, whatever that is. Moss believed her time working on the photo sharing site was something I really needed. At that time in my life, I was coming to a really bad place with modeling and my mental health, and it just kind of got me back, she said. Now I've got my confidence back. I feel like, right, I can do something else now. I can do other things with my life. She admitted a few misconceptions came with the territory of working on OnlyFans due to its taboo nature. OnlyFans is something that's so amazing for a lot of single moms to do because they can work from home, they can look after their kids, they make a lot of money, and, it gives a lot of people a lot of opportunities to show what they're made of. It's kind of like, you know, TikTok nowadays, she said. It's a creative platform where you can show so many different aspects of your personality and show many different sides of your life. You never know, people might really like it. She added, I've met so many girls that have just like, thrived through OnlyFans. I think it's something that's still a little bit taboo in this day and age, which I just don't understand. There's so many models that do naked shoots and have all of that out, but because it's for Vogue and it's not only fans, it's different or, you know, so many actresses that go naked for films and have sex scenes, but that's okay. But then only fans isn't. I just don't understand that. But, I think we're kind of getting there in the world where, you know, women and people are allowed to sort of embrace their sexuality a bit more. Her feature film debut, April X, was a welcome surprise and a natural transition from working online to being on a film set. Moss was in Bali when she got the call to work on the movie. I was thinking I was like, I really want to do something different. I really want to do something that challenges me a little bit, she said. I used to do a lot of like drama when I was younger. I was in a lot of like, you know, theater-like kind of production things. I just had never pursued it because I just went straight into doing modeling. This is something that I've always really wanted to do, and I've never done it. And I want to be able to get to the end of my career and just be like, I did it all. You never know until you try something like this as well, whether you could be like, really good. Moss first found fame in American Vogue as one of Kate's bridesmaids from her 2011 wedding with Jamie Hintz. Three years later, she signed with a modeling agency and was soon posing for Calvin Klein, the same brand Kate was known for making famous in the 90s. Moss then posed for her own first Vogue cover in 2016. Her celebrity Rolodex is also thick, and she has been spotted with Bella Hadid, Gavin Rossdale's daughter Daisy Lowe and Jude Law's children, Iris and Rafferty Law. She caught some backlash in 2022 after defending nepotism in a since-deleted post shared on Exa Kate, who turned 50 in January, and Lottie share the same father, Peter Moss. I'm so sick of people blaming nepotism for why they aren't rich and famous or successful, obviously it's not fair that people who come from famous families are getting a leg up because of that but guess what? Life isn't fair, if you put your mind to something you can accomplish, she wrote at the time. Moss admitted that she shouldn't have posted her thoughts so eagerly. I think I was trying to get something across that just didn't work, she said. There are just certain people that get one-ups in life. Life isn't fair. I have certain friends that are so rich, like they've really rich parents that buy them a flat. They don't have to worry about rent, bills, nothing. I'm like, I find that more unfair than me being Kate's sister, honestly. I'm like, my sister's never given me any money, my parents have never given me money, I've worked since I was 15. She explained how difficult it was knowing people who benefited from nepotism in different ways with parents who, buy them everything, they have cars given to them, they went to a private school. I paid for the private school I went to, Lottie said. I started working at 15. Like, yeah, I definitely got jobs from my sister's name. But like, I would have loved some more money. I'm like so jealous of my friends that have like, houses bought for them. I'm like, I want a house. Like, not bought by me. I want it bought by my parents.